Hello everyone. Just want to do a short video on whether or not you should buy into the Sonos Cinema setup, uh, the 5.1 system. And whether you should buy Sonos at all actually, the pros and cons. So to start off with the video we'll be starting with the 5.1 setup. Which uh, you might have seen before in my previous videos. And um, to be honest, let's start with the cons obviously. First of all, when getting into home cinema, you have to decide two things. Uh, are you going to get a dedicated room or are you going to get uh, or are you going to change your living room and make it multi-use? Which I've done, you know, this isn't a dedicated home cinema room. It's not a separate room. I don't have a big house. So it's simply the situation which I'm in. And I think I've made the best of it. And for me, Sonos is perfect because it blends in with everything, you know, it doesn't take up all the space, you know, my room isn't crowded with speakers, which will be the case un <laughs> unless you're really into uh, building speakers into walls, but I, I'm not going to do that. And second of all, um, it's simply very easy to use uh, this room for more multiple pur purposes. You can eat here, you can watch normal TV, you can watch movies. You can simply do everything here. I do, the Sonos actually causes you to um, simply make the room better, but not making this room dedicated to watching movies alone. Which, for example, if I would have a clips reference series, this room would have to be a home cinema room. Because otherwise <laughs> I'd have speakers everywhere across the room, across the ceiling, on the wall, so that's why I like the Sonos. It's very simple to use, it's simple to set up. As you can see there's very little wires uh, running here, except for this one here. And uh, connectivity is simply a very big plus on the Sonos. I can use the system for listening to mu music, uh, watching movies, watching TV, everything. Uh, simply for my tablet, for my smartphone, or for my TV itself. Um, I don't have to turn on the system, I don't have to use amplifiers, don't have to use receivers, which is a big plus for Sonos, it's very simple to set up. And the sound quality is very great for the size. Um, the surrounds work perfectly with, uh, with video and movies. The sub provides ample bass and the play bar provides very clear speech. However, um, as you may know, every product has its cons. And as many of, play, uh, of the play bar owners might also know is the Sonos 5.1 setup isn't meant for um, serious home cinema um, Hobbyists, if you're going to have a dedicated home cinema room, you should absolutely not get the Sonos setup. For the very simple reason that it's not strong enough for um, something like that. Uh, if you're going to have a 100 inch cinema screen, <laughs> having these small speakers isn't going to do it for a crowd of 10 to 15 men. Uh, it's simply like that. For these types of uh, rooms, you'll simply have to have a bigger system. Uh, aside from that, um, the play bar is very limited to a certain amount of connection options, which to date is only the optical out. And uh, Sonos, as some of you may know, only supports 5.1. For me, it's enough. Uh, I like simplicity above all else, as well as aesthetics. And uh, to be honest, the 5.1 is certainly not bad. It's very good for me. Uh, I think, especially in these types of rooms, it works perfectly. And it doesn't make your room incredibly ugly and littered with ugly speakers everywhere and amps and cables. Um, but it should be noted, things like Dolby Atmos and DTS aren't available to you if you're going to go with Sonos. Um, it limits your options, obviously, so these things do come at a price. However, the Sonos, as you can see with the fi uh, with stereo set, which I have, is multi-use. If I'm watching TV right here, and I'm in bed, I can simply make the sound go to the Play 5 stereo. So, 
These are things which are major benefits. The connectivity in the system is amazing. Plus, some of you may know, Sonos keeps on supporting their products. They don't become obsolete. And compared to many other out-of-the-box home cinema systems from Harman Kardon, Bose, JBL, the Sonos actually stands out. Look, obviously, professional systems will uh, be better than the Sonos. You should be honest about that. But in the consumer uh, consumer grade category, uh, which you can find in stores, the Sonos is actually one of the best performers in my opinion, which is the reason why I got it. Um, yeah, coming back on the home cinema, um, it might need, not be the best home cinema, but it works decently, and things like blacking out the room is simple for everyone to do. And if you're looking for a living room, which also doubles at a, as a home cinema, the Sonos 5.1 really works very well. It's um, it's one of the reasons why I bought Sonos because it blends in and it turns your living room into a home cinema system. Uh, going back to the blackening of your room, if you're going to have some decent curtains, uh, the room might actually be entirely black and your simple living room actually transforms into a cinema. As you can see when I'm using the, uh, the U uh, lights, I can simply turn off everything. And now, yeah, it's entire blackened room. And the only thing which you'll be seeing is the TV, <laughs> which to me is uh, pretty awesome. Um, using simple uh, methods to black out your room, you can um, simply turn everything into a home cinema, even the smallest rooms. And I think the Sonos con contributes majorly to that by being a very small system, being very compact and actually um, uh, actually blending in with uh, within the room. The Sonos system actually makes your living room into a home cinema. Also, if you have the U-lights for blacking the room, of course, and some good curtains. So, to me, those are really the pros of buying into the Sonos system. And the same simply applies for the, for the audio products. The audio products and the 5.1 system uh, can be used uh, simultaneously. And um, the integration is flawless. It's one of the main points where you should buy the Sonos. If sound quality is your number one, then you should skip the Sonos and buy something dedicated with, uh, with the amplifier. Because for bang for the buck, Sonos isn't the best in terms of sound, but all the options which you're getting combined give you a different experience than with separate amps and passive speakers but that's up to you really for me it's the best solution at this moment but i'd also like to hear what you're thinking about it um so i hope you've enjoyed this video these for me were the reasons to go with 511 setup and other sonos products like the play 5 stereo setup and um if you have any comments any thoughts maybe think about purchasing Sonos in the future leave a comment and I'm uh, I'm never too hesitant uh, I'm always trying to answer questions so I hope you've enjoyed this video have a good day and please don't like comment and uh, forget to like comment and subscribe goodbye and stay tuned for my next videos